Hey everyone, my name is Blake Cadwell. I'm the co-founder at Soundly.com and I also write a blog at hearsoundly.com, which is the screen that you're looking at right now. And uh, in this video, I want to share a bit about my review of Ergo 7. Um, I'm a hearing aid wearer, I've been wearing hearing aids for a few years and I've tried out many different products on the market. <clears throat> I write about my experiences here at hearsoundly.com. And um, I've had a chance to review the last three generations of Ergo products. So I tried five, six, and seven most recently. Um, and I want to share this new experience with you, share what some of the updates are and what you can expect if you're considering Ergo for the first time. So this is uh, this first image is just the, the way the box came. Um, to me, it's a sleek little box. Ergo does an amazing job with their packaging. It feels really premium. Um, one thing to note is I'll link this full review. If you're interested in Ergo and you want to see what the form factor is on these hearing aids, you can get a free sample sent to you. It doesn't work. It's not a working hearing aid, but the form factor is the same as what you would get if you got a real hearing aid from the brand. So it's a good option if you're looking for a way to, to dip your toe in or you're just curious and want to see more about this product. Um, so in, in the whole post, there's some more background on Ergo's history, who they are, what's, who's behind the company. What you basically need to know is that the, the brand was founded in 2010. They launched their first product in 2015. Um, they built their product from scratch. So this is not white labeled. It's not using anyone else's technology. They built this all from scratch. And the form factor is totally unique. So as you can see here on the image, um, the Ergo form factor is an invisible hearing aid. It kind of rests in your ear with these uh, little, little ear tips, sort of float the product in your ear. And what that does is it gives you this sort of open air and sound quality as you're wearing the, the product. It doesn't give you an occluded feeling or where you're hearing the boominess of your own voice. It's one thing I love about Ergo. Um, the other thing people love is that it's rechargeable. So it's the smallest product by far um, on the market that is also rechargeable. It's invisible, rechargeable, has a nice open fit. Um, and the other thing that is unique about Ergo is that it's self-fit. So you'll use an app to take a hearing test right through the devices. And then the results of that hearing test will be automatically programmed to update your hearing aids. So you're not going to work with an audiologist. If you get stuck, Ergo does have audiologists on staff and they can make remote adjustments to your devices. But most people go through the process themselves at home, and that's what I did for this review. So we'll get right into it um, with the unboxing experience. Um, again, this is what the product look like, looks like. That's the recharge case. Inside, you can kind of see this uh, where, the, where the product sits inside of the, the recharge case. Um, every time you charge the device, you get 16 hours of wear, and then you can put them back in the, the charging case uh, two times without plugging it back in and get another full charge. So it's a pretty robust charging option um, and, and a good looking charger. Uh, this is what the device looks like in my ears. Um, from the front, you're not going to see it. It's really quite small. If you look directly down into my ear canal, you will see that sort of black uh, end on there. Um, actually have somewhat small ear canals. So for some folks, this disappears even more. Uh, but that's what it looks like if you're looking directly inside of my ear. I also put it in my home test rig, um, which in the, my home test rig has a slightly larger ear canal and, and the product really just disappears. You can barely see that it's even in there. Um, this is another view of Ergo compared to a traditional prescription device. So um, it's sitting next to the Resound Omnia, which I also love. Um, but Resound Omnia sits behind the ear and that wire kind of comes up over the top. Ergo obviously sits entirely inside the ear. Um, it's quite a bit smaller in general, just because of that form factor. Um, so let's talk about app controls. Um, if you do get a pair of hearing aids from Ergo, you'll charge them up. One of the first things you'll do is you'll connect them to the Ergo app. And so um, I found this process was pretty easy. One thing to note is the app uses high frequency sounds to communicate with the hearing aids while they're in your ears. It doesn't use Bluetooth. So you have to have your phone volume turned on and then turned up to about 75%. Um, so the app will instruct you to do this, but it's just something to keep in mind. Your phone is going to have to be at a decent volume in order for that phone to talk to your hearing aids. So once I had my hearing aids in, um, the, the app prompted me to take a test. Um, pretty simple. It plays a sound through one of the hearing aids. You say if you heard it or not, does the same on the other side, say if you heard it or not 
the results are then used to program your devices. Um, and then once you're done taking that hearing test, you will end up with three main screens um, to control your hearing aids. So the first screen controls volume, simple up and down. The second screen controls noise. So you have a couple different options here. You can filter background noise, high, medium, or off. I, I liked the medium or high. I also, I do personally, I just like to kind of get rid of the static or background noise in the, in my environment, hear a quieter sound. Some people prefer to have a more open sound. So I went with medium or high most of the time. And then within sound adjust, you can give it a little bit more feedback. You can emphasize speech, reduce, no, reduce noise for comfort, or you can just put it in an automatic setting and then the hearing aids do the work for you. Um, so some good options. This is one of the big updates within Eargo 7 that didn't exist in previous generations. They've added more customization and control, um, which I love. And then the last setting is the program setting. Um, you can access this either through the app or you can double tap your ears with the product inside. Um, and that will change you from normal to restaurant to TV to meeting. One note is you have to do that for each side. So the, the hearing aids don't talk to each other. You'd have to tap here then tap here to make an adjustment. Um, so that's that's the app and, uh, and overall controls. And I would say kind of big picture, um, these hearing aids are really great for anyone who is looking for an invisible device that's also rechargeable. And especially if you're someone who likes to sort of take control over your own product, you're not uncomfortable with technology, it's a great option. Uh, if you are someone who wants a lot more hands-on support, or you don't like to um, adjust things through an app or you're not as comfortable with your smartphone technology, this probably isn't the best option for you. Um, in terms of overall sound quality for the size and for being a self-fit product, I think this product performs pretty well. Um, overall, I found it was very comfortable, gave me the amplification I needed. Um, and you know, it's tough to compare hearing aids side by side, but I think it belongs kind of within the set of premium devices on the market at this time.